you're into videography, you probably know how to use LUTs, but do you know how to create them? Today, we're going to look at how you create a LUT inside the Vinci Resolve. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're just going to create a very basic LUT. So what you want to do first is create four nodes for this particular LUT that we're going to create right now. First thing I want to do for this LUT is to take my footage from Lock to Rec 79. For that, I want to implement a color space transform. So it's going to take my footage from Canon Cinema Gamut and Canon Log 3 to Rec 79 and Gamma 2.4. Already we have a pretty good starting point. This was our CST. Then I want to adjust my contrast. I want to adjust my balance a little bit and I want to add a little bit of color. So this is what my LUT is going to contain of. First of all, I want to add a little bit more contrast. So I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast because I want it to be quite diverse. I'm just going to add a kind of a standard curve here, something like this. And then I want to head into my vector scope here and just have a look at where everything is sitting. Everything looks like it is balanced out pretty well here. So I'm just in terms of balance, I want it to be moved a little bit up to the warmer side here. I'm just gonna adjust my offset ever so slightly. It's very, very subtle, but the green became a little bit more green yellowish. And that's just the overall look that I wanted for this. Now I want to add a little bit of color and I want to go for something that's a little bit teal and orange. So I'm just gonna add 0 0.03 and 0 0.02 in the blues and the greens and remove one red. And then I'm gonna do the opposite in my blues and greens for the gamma and add 0 0.05 in the red and that just gives us this more teal look in the shadows and more dimmed here and that's pretty much what I want to do for this LUT. So in order to create the LUT itself you want to right click here and say generate LUT and you can make a 33 point cube that's the standard for LUTs Then we can save it somewhere and I'm just going to create in this folder and I'm going to call it standard LUT because this is the LUT I would like to apply to all my footage moving forward. Clicking save and now I have saved my LUT. So if I want to use my LUT, I can head into DaVinci Resolve, Preferences, and then go into General, and then add my folder, find where my folder is, and open it, say Save. And then if I go into my LUTs, I should have a folder in here that is just called LUT. If we update here, right here. And if I reset everything here, and just apply the LUT instead. You can see we have the exact same changes happening as we had before. So that is how you create a super standard LUT for your camera. All right, that was what I got for you today. If you wanna learn more about color grading in itself and how to create LUTs that really change the look and feel of your videos, then you should definitely check out my color grading course where we also have a section on this exactly creating LUTs that help you speed up your workflow and even earn back what you paid for the course because you can sell those if you want to. So with that said, I'll leave you here and catch you in the next one.